The local police department has left their vehicle running. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by ShireSociety.com. Join up and move to New Hampshire for more freedom. Is that you, Gloria? Oh, hi, I got a question for you. Are you still on the select board? I am. Uh, question. Uh, my landlord uh, was told they were not allowed to have m multiple mailboxes by the town unless they wanted to pay some extra fees or whatnot. And a month later, one month ago, or, or I guess just, just the other day, the federal government came in and told us we're not allowed to have one mailbox. We have to have multiple mailboxes. I would check with the postmaster on that. We will, and we have. Uh, <laughs> what's, the, what's the town bureaucracy that deals with stuff like that? That? That's federal. That has the, I don't think the town has anything to do with that. Now, the town was the initial uh, a party here. They, they told uh, them that they could not have multiple mailboxes unless they this is again this is the town uh unless unless they uh unless they paid some extra fees or something like that water water bills like d double water bills or something like that for two mailboxes I have to look into it i'm not familiar with that regulation all right i'll be asking others <laughs> <laughs> check with the postmaster that's what i would say all right thanks gloria i appreciate your time you got it outside winchester police department uh, just a uh, hundred yards away from town hall. You know, it's only interesting at the beginning, you know, they said, well, you know, uh, you don't really need masks. And they said, oh, we, we need those masks. Uh, everyone needs to wear a mask, but wait, no, we need them. So give them to us. I mean, that's not necessarily what Winchester PD did, but it just feels like that's what government did overall. I was fortunate enough to have, I guess, three Masks at the start of this, I've been having to reuse them and wash them at the end of each day when I use them. I uh, bleaching, part, put them in my diluted bleach. I never thought I'd live to see the day when everyone knew what N95 meant. The local police department has left their vehicle running for at least 10 minutes now outside their, uh, I don't know, outside the library or something. Hopefully there's no uh, idling rule in Winchester. It is an indication, you know, that uh, things are fairly normal here. You know, Winchester looks a little bit deserted downtown right now, but that's actually pretty normal. There's, there's been normal traffic and some construction going on. A lot of businesses open. What's, uh, what's going on over there? Um, we're just, we have a medical call, that's all. Okay, fair enough. So they have, they have not given her it's been about 15 minutes that this incident has been going on. They have not given her any uh, kind of medical tests that I can see. So that makes me wonder if this is a suicide call. They seem to be treating her professionally. They're trying to talk her into riding up front with them and also into getting out of the wind. But I had a, you know, a buddy uh, who, when he was younger, called a suicide hotline wound up in jail for two weeks. I mean, they called it mental hospital or whatever, but uh, it was a disaster. He almost lost his gun rights.
gave it and it seems like they're respecting her wishes as to whether she wants to go with them so uh, for now there's not a great deal to complain about now she's going toward the she's toward the going toward the police car I don't know how that's gonna work out things you don't want to get too close and cause any sort of you, know, you want to above all do no harm but just wonder what she's getting into and not at a very good time that's the uh, chairman of the board of selectmen there I think the top politician in, in the town we have normal people <laughs> running our town <laughs> uh, Tell you what though, uh, when someone's that pretty, you gotta wonder what, what they're thinking, uh, wanting to, if, if they're really wanting to, to go, you know? They have so much to live for at that age. So I guess the last official is leaving the scene, uh, sort of leaving the scene. No one has made any attempt at, uh, restricting me or telling me what I can and can't film. So, you know, in a sense, that's a big jump forward for Cheshire County from the days when I, I actually witnessed one of the nicest cops in town, in Keene, order one of my buddies to delete some of his video because he filmed an arrest of an adult. Well, I think it was an adult. It's been a while. That was 2006. So as, as you can see, I, uh, I kind of forgot one of my pieces of, uh, one of my accessories today. I, uh, I couldn't find my, I'm audio taping buttons, the ones that I've had for years. So I had to, I had to kind of improvise. Uh, in New Hampshire, it's good to wear these, any of the states that have uh, wiretapping restrictions. Although of course it is very rare for anyone to be uh, uh, bothered for, uh, or at least uh, arrested for recording. Um, I wanted to mention something else. The, uh, the cop, uh, you know, uh, who, who took the girl away, you know, waved at me a couple times. Um, and uh, now I'm over at the other, I'm at the other side of the, uh, uh, the, the town complex. And uh, I want to find out what the RED is. There's this organization called the RED Committee or the RED, I don't know what it is exactly. It's just called RED. What does that mean? We're going to find out what red is. It has something to do with uh, running the farmer's market and some other innocuous stuff. Uh, but I want to learn more and I also want to find out what, what their rules are at their meeting that's supposed to happen in a few minutes here. 2,000 Liberty lovers have moved to New Hampshire for the Free State Project. But there's a saying, my saying actually, united we stand, divided we rise. If you think the Free State Project is too centralized or restrictive, join the Shire Society instead. They're also recruiting people to move to New Hampshire, but they're decentralized and have no board of directors. ShireSociety.com